Oliver, we had hoped that today would be the day we found out where the missing 250 million pounds of profits at Tesco went. Did we? No, we didn't. Uh, we found out a little more in that, that it's not 250, it's just over 260 million, so we got some certainty as to that. We also, sort of, I guess, had some relief that it wasn't a lot more than that. Mm. And we found out that some of the, the problem was in the first half of this year and some was for prior years. But they didn't say anything more about where the money has gone, what the accounting problem has been there, and it's being investigated now by the FCA, one of the UK's financial regulators. So they're not likely to say much more about it at the moment while the investigation continues. But I guess Tesco will be hoping to, to draw a line under it at least. Failing that, did we learn anything from Tesco's new CEO about what his strategy is going to be uh, for solving the company's many problems? No. We didn't find out much there either. Uh, he's only been in the job seven weeks, and he's, he's spent most of that time, I guess, sorting out this accounting problem. So he's not had a lot of time to, to, to really put his thoughts to, to strategy. But in, there were hopes that he might say something, and there was very little guidance. There's very deep problems at Tesco's. Sales continue to fall, as they have been for, for the last 18 months at least. Margins are being squeezed. The, the competitors are, are, are very strong. All of these are known about, and he's not really said much about what he'll do. The speculation that, that it might need a rights issue to shore up the balance sheet, he mm -hmm. said nothing about that, nothing about what he'll do with its overseas businesses, nothing about what he'll do with peripheral UK businesses. such as The, the dividend? The dividend was cut 75%, mm. uh, as Tesco had hinted it might be. Uh, it seems very strange to me. I don't know why they didn't just cancel the dividend uh, right. entirely. The, the balance sheet is looking weak. They need to conserve cash when they can, paying out a small dividend. However small it is, it's still sending cash out of the business when that's not what Tesco ought to be doing at the moment. So they should have cancelled it entirely. Now, Oliver, at some point in the future, somebody is going to make some money on Tesco shares. Is that day coming soon? No, I don't think it is. Now, if you look at the share price chart, you might say, well, look, they're down 6% today. They've halved in a year. They must be cheap. This is Tesco. It's a big right. supermarket. It will always have customers. They'll sort this out. I'll buy in now. I'll sit on the shares for a long time. I'll make some money in the long term. I don't think today is quite the, the day to do that. What the share price is saying, it, at about 170p it is now. Now, Tesco usually trades on a forward price to earnings ratio of about 11. Now, if you put that PE of 11 with the 174p share price, you get to earnings per share of around about 15 or 16p. Now, they made 7, almost 8p in the first half. So that 15 to 16 isn't completely unreasonable, which means the shares don't look hugely undervalued at the moment. So those seeking a bargain at Tesco will have to wait a little bit longer. Thanks, Oliver.